Okay, here I am at the Stuff IO, Book IO booth with Sheila. Yes, hello. And we've been talking with her yesterday and today. It's a super exciting, one of my favorite projects uh, is, is Book IO, and then they just released Stuff IO. Talk to people about this new exciting expansion of what Book IO started out to be. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we started with ebooks and audiobooks with Book.io, right? And now we just kept writing tech for the last two years, and we're able now to do music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, anything and everything that is your digital media is now able to be made into a DEA, which is our uh, proprietary tech so it's a decentralized encrypted asset that we're able to break up make completely encrypted and secure and put on the blockchain where you actually own that digital asset of all your favorite media movies culture really you know it's like you actually get to own it now instead of you know just streaming it or not actually owning it uh, where those providers can take it away they can change it they can just cancel your account right uh, they can claim that oh now this should be banned so poof, that song is no longer on there oh there's a bad word in it take it off the the streaming platform this doesn't happen you own that media uh, so yeah so so you're telling me if I if I everything I have on Kindle I don't actually own you do not it is a license to read that book so, and there is one copy of that book that is on a centralized server. So if somebody was fancy enough, they can literally just hack into that, grab it. It is not secure. So some, you know, these authors are out there going, my stuff's getting pirated. It's getting, you know, screenshot and sold as a PDF on all these other, you know, black market websites. And it's, it's just not safe for the authors. And it, it's not fair. Like that's what they are spending their entire careers doing is creating and we're basically disrespecting them uh you know and that's right now that was the only option so it's like we introduced this company and it's like no now they have options of actually securing their their media letting their own their the readers their people who want to listen to their music own their stuff right and then blockchain's so cool so you can actually see all the worldwide uh wallets that own your media and you can now communicate with the audience of who owns your stuff. So it's like, hey, I'm going to drop you a bonus chapter of that book. I'm going to drop you a, a, a hidden track off that album. Um, and so you're, you know, which you can't do. Like you go to Amazon or another, you know, site that sells this stuff. You have no idea who owns your stuff. You can't communicate with them. You don't even know the zip code that they bought from, right? Yeah. Blockchain solves that. And so that's that's why we're here. We want to make it a, a better world for all the creators and make it fair. It'd probably take us all day to, to, to unpack everything that you guys are doing. And you mentioned digital encrypted asset. When I read your white paper, I was just like mesmerized by that concept. And it's completely proprietary to you, to what you guys are doing. And, and another showcase of what you could do on Cardano and what you could do with the UTXO model. Yeah. Um, what I love about that is that not only is the book itself like encrypted, but every single page so an author could essentially understand how much of the book a reader is actually reading, right? Exactly. So that the founders at their previous uh, company, they had a, another ebook company. Uh, it wasn't on blockchain, but they, it, you know, came up with the technology to see how much everybody has read. So that's going to be applied to, to Book.io, and you're literally going to go like, wait, eighty percent of my readers stopped on chapter 10. Yeah. What the heck did I write in there that I cannot do again, right? So, so it's like, oh. how, how do you know? So yeah, okay, great. Now I know who owns my book. Now I know if they've actually read it and how much, right? So it's just so many cool options that come with this technology. Um, we're going to launch a read to earn as well. So we've got our, our stuff token um, and read to earn is going to you know, reward you for consuming your media. So, I mean, it's every four hours, it's gonna take a snapshot of how much everybody has read in the world and kind of do a leaderboard and distribute a certain amount of tokens for each of those people who have read every single four hours. So, I mean, you're, you're literally getting incentivized to read and listen to your, your favorite media. So it's- I think that's incredible. I mean, that's so empowering to, to incentivize people to read. I mean, people are not reading anymore and they're spending time doing other things. I mean, imagine what it would be like if people are reading books again, they're, they're enjoying it, they're incentivized, they're gonna get stuff tokens. Right. 
ah, my God, you have like real world value to actually read. I could see collaborations with schools. I mean, I, I could see so many things happening in the future. Yeah, that is absolutely the goal. It's just get, get kids excited, you know, get the world excited about, you know, reading, consuming all of this great stuff that's still being created by authors and, and musicians, but it's like, you know, who, who's actually consuming it? We don't know because you don't have that. Nobody releases that data, right? Um, and so, yeah, it's we have loads of plans to get schools and other countries and just, you know, because blockchain really breaks through. You don't have to have anybody saying, nope, this book isn't allowed here. It's like, sorry, it's on the blockchain. So and it's really neat of how, you know, we can incentivize people, but it's also we can get these books out to everyone. That's fantastic. In closing, is there anything you want to say, that, anything that you're most excited about? I know that there's going to be some, some special announcements coming up here at the event, so, yes. so that's why you got to come to the events to, uh, to meet people in person and to see these announcements, these, these golden nugget drops. Yeah. But, but what can you say? I know that there's probably stuff that you can't share, but what are you most excited about in closing? Um, in, in this project? Uh, well, within this project, I mean, the, the stuff that really gets to my heart is getting all that culture out into places that haven't been allowed to have those books, those musics, right? Like that is what really speaks is, uh, you know, to all the work that I've done in the past. It's like, I really love being able to get culture into the hands of people. And it's their decision if yeah. they want to consume it, right? But it, it shouldn't be not available at all. Yeah. Like that's just not not fair. It's like we're all human yeah. human beings who can make that decision for ourselves on what we want to consume, how we want to actually enrich our lives. So hopefully we can just slowly make the world a better place yeah. at stuff.io. Like that's really what we're trying to do. That's fantastic. So. Well, so thank you so much for your work. I know you have that humanitarian background and it's it's much more than just a new thing or a new business. There's a real world purpose with real world value, changing people's lives in real time. So thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank yep. you guys. Thank Enjoy. You. And, and yes, everybody watched Josh's speech today. So yeah. even if it's online, go back and, and look up his speech because there's some major, major announcements that will affect the entire ecosystem of, of this room. Sweet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Exciting times. Exciting times. Thank you so much. Awesome. What we've done with Charles is we, uh, we got to sit down with him. We, uh, we filmed probably close to two hours and uh, had an incredible interview. And Charles literally walks through, I mean, everything from childhood on through. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about my timing. Replica Rolexes from counterfeits uh, to, uh, to my college days and Hawaii days and everything in between. It's, it was an eye opening interview. I said, wow, this guy's weird. Well, I, I was really happy that we caught you Thursday before all of this because uh, it's a lot of talking in the last couple of days. So. Oh, no, no. I can come back and do it maybe every quarter. So. Okay, that sounds good. That's fair. So, with this particular asset, what we're doing is, is a the first time ever. We're doing a, a fungible media token. So the way that this works, and I'll, I'll get into the guts of that later, but um, it's the entire 90 minute interview. It's only available on Cardano. It's one cent per to buy the interview. It's a 48 hour window. And so what we're demonstrating is how we can take uh, blockchain and decentralized storage and smart contracts and we bundle all this together in a way that we can put media on chain. And so exactly how, I think in the same ethos of store value on chain, we can store media on chain. It can't be taken away, can't be edited. And I think some of those kind of principles fall in line with some libertarian views you might hold. Oh, I would say, you know, my whole viewpoint in life is we have to make life easier for the producer of content. Whether you produce music, you produce video, pictures, books, it doesn't matter. You're the guy creating the value, and the person reading it and consuming it is the person who wants it. So why the hell do we have middlemen that come in and suck out 80% of that transaction? And so when I look at stuff, and I look at book, when I look at what you guys are trying to do, I look at a restoration and a healing of a very broken, very damaged industry, which is ultimately very predatory and unfair. And so this is just an example of an expansion of that, and the fact that I'm able to sit down and do an interview and answer some questions that never been asked before that are absolutely amazing extraordinary you should buy the interview and and for you guys to be able to come in and you know listen to that and see it is pretty cool because if i make money then everybody else is like why well, should do that 
pleading to speak God and doing all these other guys that will come in at some point, now or later. And then what that does is it creates an ecosystem on the platform, and ultimately that ecosystem platform is by and for the creators and consumers, as opposed to the middlemen. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, I think uh, in terms of the middlemen, like, um, and I'll kind of go back through this uh, later, but you know, we live in this licensing model world now where we don't own any of our digital assets. We don't own any of our books. We don't own any of, uh, any of the films, even if we buy them. Uh, we're just buying a license to look at those. Um, and, and that media is subject to change because it's licensed. So uh, books get changed, um, film, film rights change, and purchases that you made go away. Um, this happens on, uh, on music platforms as well because licensing changes. So there's a, we, we've gotten kind of down this path 20 years into digital licensing where it turns out none of us own any of it. So really the only thing we really own right now is crypto, but I think we can use the same tools to also allow us to own other digital things, other digital assets. And it, just like Charles said, it gives, like Charles as a creator, right? And I'm a fan and obviously you've got some of the fans. This allows you even a way to monetize uh, different things you want to do, right? You're, you're working on a book with this as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's this, it's kind of like even periphery content, like cool things that you could share with us. Oh yeah, like for example, uh, if we buy this, 20% of all the proceeds will go to feeding my bison on my ranch. There you go, there you go. We should add as a book. But yeah, again, it's a lot. We have to move the model, we gotta get it done. And it was a heck of a lot of fun to sit down with you guys and get some stuff going. And if this is as easy as it is, uh, it's gonna be exciting to see where that goes. There's so many amazing people out there in the world that we do this if given an opportunity and it would be fun to have exclusive content and stuff. I call it exclusive content all the time. Did you guys love exclusive? Kind of like like you're a fan, an only fan or something. See, you don't have an only fans, right? Not now. I have stuff we created the business model, my book. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get going to another thing. I appreciate you coming by. It was such a pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Austin. Awesome.